Charles Krauthammer is a Fox News contributor, and he's what passes for an intellectual on the right wing, uh, even though he just makes stuff up. Uh, so we have a good example of that right now. Here he is talking about President Obama's legacy. Uh, Charles, what about this um, farewell tour as it continues on till Friday? I'm the best president I've ever been. That's a pretty low bar. Uh, I'm sure all presidents on the week they're leaving office delude themselves into thinking they were a great historic success. I'm sure it happens in all walks of life. Uh, and you wonder whether Obama believes it. I'm convinced he does. I think what he doesn't quite understand is, yes, he did a lot of things, but they are all built on sand. And the reason is that he never brought in the opposition. He never brought in the country. He completely overshot the mandate. The mandate in 08 was to reassure a, a, a very nervous, apprehensive country uh, and to govern uh, it's sort of in a moderate way, and he under he understood it as a mandate for his sort of social democratic. He was Bernie Sanders before Sanders was Sanders, and he tried to govern that way. And you can't for a country that is eighty percent non-liberal. Yeah, there is so much bullshit in that segment that I can't believe he jammed that into under a minute and thirty seconds. I mean, that was amazing. He's just making shit up. A country that is 80% non-liberal. 80% non-liberal. Show me that poll, Charles. That sounded really, really creepy and kind of sexual. <laughs> no, I don't want to see that poll, Charles. I want to see the poll that says 80% of the country is conservative or 80% is non-liberal. That's simply not true. So, uh, for example, Charles, here, take a look at uh, this. This was a poll done by an outlet, by the way, which actually doesn't um, like Bernie Sanders. They were on Team Hillary Clinton. Vox uh, commissioned this poll here, and they found that, oh my goodness, look at that! Bernie Sanders' agenda is overwhelmingly popular in the country, not only among Democrats, but also among Republicans. So, you name the issue. Probably the only issue where the American people don't agree, a majority don't agree with Bernie Sanders, is the death penalty. He wants to get rid of it, and most Americans want to keep it. But outside of that, Virtually every issue, they're like, oh yeah, we're, we are Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is mainstream America. He's just not mainstream in the establishment because the establishment is a, a corrupt corporate entity that's far right. So, he's just making shit up. Oh, 80% non-liberal. Charles, you made that up. Admit you made that up. It's completely and utterly made up, and anybody who's familiar with actual facts and actual poll numbers knows it's made up. Furthermore, did you just say Obama was Bernie Sanders before Bernie Sanders was Bernie Sanders? Did you just say Obama's a social democrat? By no uh, definition of social democrat is he a social democrat? And certainly not by his policies is he a social democrat? What are you talking about? So for example, Obama in office, did you know he actually cut government jobs? Hundreds of thousands of government jobs he cut. That would be the opposite of a social democrat. Uh, you do understand, Charles, that the private sector, so the capitalist sector, grew by over 12 million jobs while Obama was in office. If he's a social democrat, he's the worst one in human history. President Obama cut small business taxes over a dozen times. President Obama cut the deficit in half. President Obama did your health care bill. So that's another thing. Oh, yeah. You know, it, the problem is uh, he didn't bring in the opposition. That's why his legacy is built on sand. No, the problem is the opposition stopped agreeing with their own ideas because Obama proposed them. So the heart of Obamacare is what's called the individual mandate. The individual mandate is a health care reform or health insurance reform that keeps the insurance companies intact, the private insurance companies. So there's no public option, there's no single payer. Single payer is the true liberal idea, public option is the watered down liberal idea. He went all the way to the conservative idea. Okay, individual mandate. You are forced to buy from private insurance companies. Uh, and we do some other good things, good provisions like expand Medicaid and, you know, uh, s stop companies from rejecting people for pre-existing conditions and, and a bunch of other stuff. But the heart of it is a conservative idea. 
Richard Nixon proposed something similar. Bob Dole proposed something similar. The Heritage Foundation, which is a right-wing think tank, wrote policy papers on it, and they said, this is our answer to the liberals' idea, which is single-payer. Even uh, Chuck Grassley and Newt Gingrich supported this in the 1990s. Now they disagree with it because Obama's in favor of it. So the problem is not Obama didn't bring in the opposition, is that the opposition was so obstinate and so obstructionist, they said no even to their own ideas. Even the fucking stimulus package was a third tax cuts when Obama had a supermajority. You didn't have to do a third tax cuts, but he gave him a third tax cuts. He made over 90% of the Bush tax cuts permanent. You should be thanking him. If Obama was a Republican, they'd be calling him the best president ever. They'd say, oh my God, look, the unemployment rate is down, the stock market has doubled, the deficit is down. Uh, you know, all these amazing things that Obama did, which are center-right ideas. So, in, in my mind, Obama's one of the most successful Republican presidents we've had. But, again, it's amazing because it's all projection from Charles Krauthammer. Obama's a radical left-winger like Bernie Sanders. By the way, even the idea of Bernie Sanders being a radical left. He's an international centrist. You put him in Europe, they go, that's the most moderate guy I've ever seen in my life. But he thinks Obama's extreme simply because Obama's a black Democrat. <laughs> like, oh, you're, you're, you're a Democrat and you're black and you, I don't know, Hussein is your middle name. Oh, kind of, kind of foreign, kind of extremist by definition. So forget all the facts, forget all the policy substance, forget the feelings and the opinions and the beliefs of the American people. Just go out there and make shit up. Obama didn't bring in the opposition, even though all he did was bring in the opposition and all he did was cave to them and all he did was give them what they want. He didn't bring in the opposition, even though he did. Uh, his mandate was to be a moderate, even though, again, you just made that up. You made it up. Uh, and, oh, you know, Obama's a social democrat and he's Bernie Sanders before there was Bernie Sanders. Please. Don't besmirch the great legacy of Bernie Sanders by comparing Obama to him. Okay, but these... It, again, this guy passes as an expert on the right. Everything he just said there was false. Everything he just said there was made up. Everything he just said there was inaccurate. And he's an intellectual. <laughs> his version of the situation and his reading of the country is just wrong. 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 That's what it is, Charles. You don't know what you're talking about. Now, what's my evidence? My evidence is what Obama actually did, which you totally misstate. And my evidence is what the American people want, which again, you totally misstate. Mr. 80% of the country is not liberal. Let me go back up my ass and fish for more stuff that suits my narrative, even though it's not true. Go away. Go away. You don't know what you're talking about. You're a joke. You, you're a pseudo-intellectual of the highest order.